Hello, my name is Barbara Pahud, and I work at Children's Mercy Kansas City. I'm a pediatric infectious disease specialist with special training in vaccines. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the importance of the HPV vaccination. I wanna talk about this because unfortunately, in Kansas and Missouri, we have very low vaccination rates, and everybody is at risk of acquiring the HPV virus. Most of us will have it, and it's an asymptomatic infection, meaning we have it and we don't even know that we've been infected with it. A small proportion of people that have been infected with HPV will go on to develop cancer. Both men and women are at risk of cancer from HPV-related infections. Women have cervical cancer, but they can also have cancer in other areas. And men can also have cancer, especially in the mouth and the throat. The current rates of cancer in men is about 17,000 cancers a year related to HPV virus, and in women, it's about 24,000. If we keep growing the amount of HPV-related cancers at this rate, by the year 2020, there's gonna be more oropharyngeal cancer, cancer of the mouth and the throat, in men than cervical cancer in women. The good news is that we have a vaccine that helps us protect us against HPV. The importance of this vaccine is that it needs to be given before our body has ever been infected with HPV virus. HPV virus can be found even in virgin women and men. So it's very important to give the vaccine to children before they become sexually active. The vaccine is approved down to the age of nine, but the recommendation is to give it at age 11 and complete all three doses by age 13. I'm going to explain how the HPV vaccine works. Imagine this is the HPV virus. And inside of the virus, we have all these proteins that help the virus produce cancer, those will be the X's, or defend itself against the body so that it will live in you and cause cancer. So when your body becomes infected, it sees this virus. It can't see all the stuff that's inside, but it sees this virus, but then the virus will infect you and liberate all these things and cause cancer and prevent you from attacking it back. The beauty of the vaccine is that it looks exactly the same as a virus, but it's empty. So the body has a better ability to fight the infection because it's no longer attacking it, and it looks exactly the same as a regular virus, being a very effective vaccine. Right now, it is known to be protective all the way out to 10 years, and we know that it's 10 years because that's as long as the vaccine has been out there, but we believe that it's probably going to be more affected down the road. And number two, it's very safe. There's been about 175 million doses of this vaccine given worldwide. So we have sufficient evidence to prove that the vaccine is safe. I recommend that everybody get their children vaccinated as soon as possible. And my daughter, who is right now eight years of age, will get it when she's nine. And remember, this is cancer prevention. Thank you.